What we're going to talk about today is header design, is specifically Super Sprint header design on a Mini Cooper or Mini Cooper S. When you purchase any kind of header, here's what you want to look for. Definitely stainless steel. It's pretty much the norm these days. But what you want to make sure that you're getting is at least 304 stainless steel. Another thing you want to look for is the flanges. Flanges have to be relatively thick. They have to be stable so they don't warp. So you get a good seal for the duration of the vehicle, uh, of, the, of the system installed on the vehicle. What you're also wanting to see is that the tubing is all mandrel bent tubing and that you've got nice welds and nice transitions where they go where they meet the secondary collector. There's two kinds of, of uh, headers on the market. You're going to find four into one headers, that's one design, and then there's going to be four into two into one. So basically what we're doing is we're taking four ports, each one shared, You'll go into another, like a smaller collector. You'll have the outside two going into another collector, and then they join one more time. Now, the advantage of a four into one header, this is four going on into one collector, is typically that will get you more horsepower gain at high RPM. That would be more of a strict road racing situation. You're also going to lose a little bit of bottom end torque. You're going to lose your bottom end torque and horsepower. And typically what happens is the power comes on at a later time. Now lengthening, lengthening and shortening those pipes will put that power band in a different RPM band. But what Super Sprint looks for is high horsepower but not sacrificing torque. We're trying to keep the torque up there because most uh, high speed acceleration requires torque, especially on a small displacement engine. You can't afford to give up 15 horsepower in the mid range to gain 10 horsepower at the top end. You've got to get there first. On a 4 into 2 into 1, you're going to have a broader horsepower band, and depending on tubing diameter, select tubing diameter is what gets you your high torque all throughout the range. Now, a nice feature with the Super Sprint exhaust is the collector comes into a flex pipe on most header systems that you see on the market. This allows the motor to torque when you're accelerating because the motor is obviously moving and since it's a transverse engine, it fits sideways in the car, the motor is actually twisting backwards. So, most headers on the market that I've seen, other headers other than Super Sprint, have one of these thermo expansion joints. And it's basically a little accordion piece in there that has some braid on the outside. And what's happening there is all your motor torque is virtually being transmitted to this flex joint. This is not a good design. This unit was never designed to be torqued and flexed. It was designed to expand and contract on a system where there might be two pipes riding parallel that have different expansion rates because one is longer than the other. This system here, fairly inexpensive to put in, but not the optimum coupler. What Super Sprints develop is at the base of the header here, there is a ball joint. It's basically a composite steel uh, mesh type of seal that fits in there, and there's a bell. And what's happening here is we torque these uh, bolts down to a specific uh, uh, tension to allow a little bit of tension on these springs. And that ball joint right there can move freely. So when that engine torques back and forth, you're basically sliding on that seal. It keeps a good seal and it allows the motor to move with very little wear. And when something does wear out here, you purchase a new seal. The seal's a small ring, about four inches diameter on the outside, and it'll basically slip right over the collar, and then the ball, the ball socket will fit right over that point again. So that's what you need to know about headers.